Alert every homeowner is concerned about burglaries and break ins. And tonight, Phoenix PD says they're on the decline, down 19% citywide in the past year. But that doesn't mean we can let our guard down. We need to be prepared. It's the kind of stuff that you see in the movies. A spy or a crook walks up to a door and seems to pick the lock with ease. But could it really be that easy? Turns out, it is, and the experts say most valley homes are vulnerable. Tonight, how it works and what you can do to protect yourself. It's a nice Mesa neighborhood. We won't say exactly where, just somewhere in zip code 85204. We pick a house at random, and homeowner Joe Hatch agrees to let us try to unlock his front door without using the house key. In less than a minute, I walked right in. That's pretty creepy. Wow. So how did we do it? We just Googled it. Online, we found every type of lockpicking tool, including the cheapest and scariest tool, bump keys. With the help of a half dozen YouTube videos, every tool I tried worked. In the case of one inexpensive lock, in as little as six seconds, and yeah, even on my own home. Anybody with you know a few dollars and internet connection can learn how to get into almost any lock out there. But there are simple solutions. The easiest protection? Put a lock on your lock. If you normally enter through your garage, put a device like this on the front door. It costs from 10 to 30 bucks, and you can fit it to an existing lock. And because the working key won't open it, lock bumping isn't going to work, lock picking isn't going to work either. Look for bump resistant locks or spool pin locks or something called a smart key. It's a completely different design. It's so hard to pick, locksmiths say you'd have to drill out the whole thing just to get in. It may cost a little more, but experts say it's worth the peace of mind. And by the way, after what we found, I changed the locks on my own house to a much higher security model. It was just way too easy to get in. And my locks were relatively new. And in fact, you know, the locks we were able to pick for this story, the ones we were able to bypass, all purchased only recently at some big box hardware stores. Yeah, it's scary. I know you talked to police about this. What did they say? Well, cops say generally most burglaries they investigate involve somebody forcing their way in, breaking a window or something like that. But I want to show you a picture that the locksmith that we interviewed sent us just last week here. The homeowner had complained that none of the locks on her home worked, and so when the technician took the locks apart, you see those three broken keys there? Those are all three broken bump keys, one of them for each lock. So somebody either tried or did get into their house using Good. one of these Yikes. methods. All right. Thank you.